everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be trying the new she glam stay wild collection and it looks like this and before i start the video a massive thank you to she glam and sheen for sending me this makeup thank you so much you can actually buy this through going to the sheen app or website and searching up stay wild or she glam and the new collection will come right up and you can also use my unique discount code of Caitlin Small and to get 15% off all your orders. By the way, it's a bit windy outside today and it's raining so you can might hear it on my window. Also, I'm going to add links to these specific products that I have in the description and I'm also going to introduce She Glam and everything in the description as they're a DTC brand. So I have five new products here and I'm going to be trying them, showing swatches, showing you how they look and we're gonna show everything so if you want to find out what they look like what they are and how they test on your makeup then just keep on watching so moving on and first we'll talk about packaging and the packaging is absolutely beautiful there's mint white and black shades used to create the packaging and it actually says on the back of the palettes that it's inspired by tattoo artistry which i absolutely love reminds me of like henna's and stuff like that so first off we'll start with the palette and this is actually an all-in-one colour palette so hopefully i'll be able to do my blush highlight bronzer and my eyes with this and i'll get as much steps as i can out of it so it says on the back of it it's inspired by tattoo artistry as i said it features natural earth tones wild foliage shades stunning high shimmer pigments and cheek pastels so you actually will get a lot out of it but i'll just open it up obviously as i always do i'll show everything close up and do swatches too so this is what it looks like from the inside this palette is actually only 10 pound which obviously i'll put the link in the description to so this palette has 17 shades in the bottom row looks like highlight blush and bronzer shades and then these are all eyeshadows a lot of them are like shimmers and metallics and they're like pressed glitters it looks like and then there's some matte shades here so we'll be using this today i'm going to try and use as many shades as i can right now i'm thinking of using like the pinkish shades and then using these and using maybe a blue in my waterline but we'll see so there's the all-in-one she glam palette so after your eyeshadow you always have lashes and i don't think these actually have a name but obviously i'll link everything in the description but oh god i nearly dropped it but on the website you can get two for a pound two for a pound that is so amazing i'll just open them up so obviously these are fluffy i think they're more fluffier on the outside than they are on the inside which obviously i love and obviously it's just a personal preference but i do love them like this and i'm really excited to try these so all the packaging in this collection is all the same obviously as you can tell so next we have the mascara which i'm actually so excited about so this is the she glam all-in-one volume and curl mascara and it's in the shade black so when you open it up it's got like two ends obviously two different mascara ones one for curl and one for volume so obviously all the packaging's the same except this one is actually blue and green and then it has she glam in white so when i open this end this one's the curl end and obviously you can tell by the wand it's a lot thinner and obviously more rounded and then this end is the volume and it's a lot thicker and a lot more straight than the other end so this is meant to give you volume i'm actually really excited for this because i've never tried a mascara like this so this mascara is actually only £4.50 and it's a double end obviously it does two different things so i'm really excited about using all this makeup obviously it is cheap and obviously you would like me to try out different types of makeup so i'm really excited to try out she glams so next we have the stay wild jelly glitter and this is in the shade icy and this is actually really beautiful so this jelly glitter is only three pound obviously as i said you can use my code caitlin small for 15 percent off as well it says icy is an opulent eye shade glitters with stars and moons so when you think about that and when you first hear it you automatically think like festival this would be really great to use for them so it's in like a little pot container like this i will try my hardest to try this out today i'm not sure how i'm going to use it i'll try my best <laughs> so the last thing i have is the she Gam nude liquid lipstick and it looks like this i'm really excited for this one because if you know me you'll know that i love doing nude lipsticks and to be fair i never use liquid lips so i'm really excited for this one it's just like this and this is three pound fifty obviously link in description again also just before i 
forget to mention, like, these have just came in the post and there's more stuff from the P. Louise competition, like, what the hell? So I'll just pop them up on my Instagram just because I did film the P. Louise unboxing, like, a week ago and now there's more. So I will just pop it on my Instagram. Here is the collection close-up. This is the liquid lip, the mascara. This is the jelly glitter, the lashes and the palette. I'm really excited to use the palette, actually. I really love that shade. That is so beautiful. But I'm going to swatch as much as I can. I'll be swatching this, the palette, and possibly the liquid lip. And I'll show you how they look like already. So this is the swatches of some of the products. So this is obviously the Jelly Glitter in the shade Icy. This is the nude lipstick in the shade Naked. It is still drying, but it's totally fine. So the bottom four are actually the ones from the colour palette. First off, we have the gorgeous blue shade. This is called Joyride. Then we have a matte and it's called Calling. I'm actually looking to use this one, actually. And then after that, we have Reborn. This is like, looks like one of the pressed pigments in the palette. And it's actually this gorgeous gold shade. And then we have this deep brown shade at the bottom. And this one's called Gin. So here's all the swatches on my arm. And right now, we'll get to putting the makeup on. So what I'm going to actually do is just feature the steps using these products. So obviously I'm not going to video my brows or my foundation or anything because I don't have them. It would defeat the whole purpose of the video really. So I'm just going to show you the steps using these and keep watching and we'll try it out. So now my eyebrows and my base are down, I'm thinking of doing like a pinky smoky like eye. And so I'm going to use the shades Colin and 107 in the palette so i'm just gonna take a dense brush like this like i always use and this isn't mucky it has been cleaned it's just stained because obviously blue eyeshadow does stain a lot and a lot of my brushes are now like blue or green because they tend to stain the most so i'm just dipping into calling and it has got a little kickback but honestly who cares because as long as it looks good on the eyes i don't really care about the mess so I think I'm just going to create like a usual half cut crease shape. That's what I'm going for at the minute. I'm literally winging it. So I'm just going to start packing this in my crease. So first thoughts, I actually really love the colour and it's packed on really well. I think this actually like reminds me of my other palettes I use. So the quality is really good. And this colour reminds me of like a bridal or like a wedding makeup. I'm not sure why. That's my first thought when I look at this shade. So next I'm going to take the shade 107. I don't really know how to describe it. I feel like it's got tones of pink but tones of brown. It'll probably look different on camera as it always does. But I'm going to use the Revolution brush too. And this is just to blend it out with. Obviously I do love to go darkest to lightest. I'm really hoping this blends out well. This is the only shade that I could blend it out with. I feel like this is blending out a little brown on the eyes. And I don't know if it's blending well. So now looking at it, I don't think it's blended that bad. I probably should have picked different colours, but I really wanted to create like a nice pinky look. This is more natural than what I do usually. I usually do like glam makeup or creative. Oh my god, my straps are, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I feel like I've managed to blend this eye way better and it actually does look really nice it obviously looks oh my god my voice it obviously looks more natural and i think that's not what i'm used to so that's why i'm like doubting it a bit but obviously i've got to get used to everything <laughs> so i've just cut my crease and now what i'm going to do is dip back into the palette and i'm going to actually use the shade reborn this is because i swatched it earlier on and i actually loved it it's this gorgeous gold shade so i'm just gonna use that on my half cut crease so what i figured out is it's so hard to apply with a brush and you know what it's so much easier to apply with a finger but because it's a half cut crease i can't really apply it with a finger so i don't know what i'm gonna do so i've just like took it on my finger and try to like get in as many areas as i can and then i'm gonna go around the cut crease with a brush I feel like that's the same with every palette because shimmers are pressed. It's so much easier to take with the finger. Now, obviously, as I said, I'm just taking the brush to go around the edges of the cut crease with. Obviously, just because a finger can't really make straight lines. Like, let's be for real. <laughs> it's looking really pretty. And now I'm just going to blend that in just because I don't want to waste time doing all this eye when you've seen me do it here. What I'm going to do is just take the same dense brushes earlier on and dip them back into the shade Carlin. And what I'm just going to do is do like light tapping motions just to try and blend that in. 
obviously you can use the lighter shade if you want to this is really pigmented i'm just going to go off camera and quickly do the other eye just because you don't want to waste your time watching me do all this i'm back and as i said i want to try and use as many shades in the palette as i could so now i'm going to take the shade gin and it's like with this really dark brown shade i did want to try and find a black but there isn't a black in here so we're just going to take an angled brush and because i love doing like a smoky liner that's what i'm going to do what i want to do is smoke it along my lash line here also i love this technique and like models and like kendall jenner and all that do this it's beautiful now it's time for mascara and obviously if you watched the start of the video you probably have because how would you have got this far i'm just stupid but there's two ends to it and two different eyes obviously i'm just going to use this end on this side and this end on this side because why not i may as well just use both ends like may as well so for my right eye i'm going to be taking the curl side of it so this should curl my lashes and make them more lifted get really nervous about doing mascara on camera because i pull really weird faces but then again like everyone who wears mascara can relate because who doesn't pull weird faces when they're doing it so there's this side done to be fair it has lifted them a bit you can tell the difference in this side to this eye my i have really small lashes and they're just really straight so i can never get anything out of them but now i'm going to try this side and this is the volume side so hopefully this gets them a bit you know big i've really never used a mascara one like this so something new I feel like I should probably do a second coat on both eyes. I'm not too sure yet, but I don't want it to go like clumpy. But I feel like if we do a second coat, then they may look better. Lots of volume side, and I feel like the volume one looks way much. Obviously, that's what it's meant to do, and it looks way more longer than this eye. So I'm really excited about this actually. So lashes are now on, and they look like this. I absolutely love them. How they're longer on the outside and then thinner on the inside, as I explained earlier on. I think they go really well with this look, and it gives it like a classic bronzy look. That's what it looks like. So the next step that I do is either blush, highlight, or bronzer. So I'm gonna go off and do my foundation, my concealer, and set my face, and then I'll be right back on to do all that. So because this is an all-in-one color palette. There is like a bottom bit here which has like blush highlights and maybe like a bronzer or contour shade so I'm going to try using that for my bronzer. It may be a bit dark but we're just obviously we're testing it out. So I got some on an angled brush and I'm just going to start putting that in my cheekbones. I'm absolutely loving this formula on my skin. It looks exactly like the Revolution Mega Bronzer that I always use. So this is actually buildable as well, which I actually love with bronzers because sometimes like they're either too light or they're one really dark. I'm just going to put some, just a tiny bit on my jawbone because I don't want to look like I've got a beard. I actually love this colour palette, obviously on my eyes and then all this here. So quickly with a small angle brush from Primark, I'm just going to put that bronzer under my lip just to obviously create a shadow effect as I always do. And then put a tiny bit on my nose just for nose contour well i don't like to nose contour but i just like to put a tiny bit on my nose i think this is my favorite thing that i've tried yet the fact that i've actually used the shade as bronzer in the mirror it looks really natural i don't know how it's looking on camera but i actually love my bronzer like this i don't like it too heavy but you can tell it's on there if that makes sense so next is blush and for my skin tone i think there's only really one i can use and it's called drown it's this nice pink shade i'm um, i think my brush might be too big to fit in the palette oh i think i might have worked it it's fine in certain light it's got a bit of a shimmer to it and then in some light it's matte it's like yeah it's really beautiful actually obviously as you'll know i love pink blushes so this is like right up my alley <laughs> this reminds me of the blush i always use from the girls of attitude palette and obviously i actually love this i sound so lazy saying this but what i love about blush is how quick it is to do like i've just literally done like two thingies on each cheek and it's done so yeah um blush is now done and time for highlighter so obviously as i said next is highlight and i'm going to be using this big one here at the bottom which is called summer twilight it looks like it's gold but it also looks like it's pink so we'll try it out i'm just going to use this eye blending brush obviously i use it all the time for highlight i got it from super drug by the way i'm not going to spray this for no setting spray i'm just going to go straight on for it to see how it works itself 
it's actually a really golden glow and it reminds me of the doll beauty highlighter which obviously you'll have seen on my channel i love and it it looks like a really nice champagne color really not good with my colors me but you can see what i mean this is actually really beautiful it's kind of blinding but it's nice for like a summer glow too so obviously which i love you can use it for multiple stuff and when i look forward you can actually see it too so pretty okay oh my god look at that on my cupid's bow i'm also just taking a pencil brush and gonna highlight my inner corner and my brow bone also this shade kind of looks like that reborn shade which is so beautiful like to have it as a highlight and to have it as a shimmer after all this the only thing that's really left is my liquid lip so the next thing is the she glam liquid lipstick and this is in the shade naked obviously as you'll have seen earlier on this is an absolute gorgeous nude shade i don't really like to talk when i put these on because i remember in my last video like i spoke and it was like downy and i was like oh god but so this is it when i put it on and obviously it is a bit light so i'm gonna try and darken up with like the eyeshadow and that i've seen tricks people do this is totally my fault anyway because i picked the shade and i should have probably picked the darker one i'm such but, a genius so what i've done is took the angled brush from earlier on and took the shade 107 and went around the outer of my lips just to make it look like a lip liner and darken it up a bit i love it like this now so yeah basically lips are done the only thing i ever managed to use is a jelly glitter because i don't know where it's supposed to go like i don't think i can put this on my eyes like because it's like this color and not white so i could use it in another like festival look because this is like looks amazing for festival makeup obviously i swatched it earlier on and showed you everything but obviously the link for this in description so this is the end of the video and obviously i've came up with this like bronzy nude look which is totally instagram wear because this is what you see a lot on like client makeup and that but thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far i really appreciate it like and subscribe if you've really enjoyed this video to keep updated with what i post i'm gonna get 3,000 subscribers soon so please help me out and hopefully we'll get there so thank you so much for watching obviously i'm posting two times a week now so i need some more suggestions of videos i should film just drop them down below and maybe i should f test some more makeup out just whatever you enjoy just comment below also i wanted to say a massive thank you to she glam for sending me all this makeup out I really appreciate it. Thank you. And you can get yours on the Sheen app. And what you do is you type in Stay Wild or you type in She Glam and it'll come up and then use code Caitlin Small 15% off. As always, I'll link my social medias in the description and I'll be back with another video soon. So thank you so much for watching and bye.